What's up guys? I'm gonna start the fabrication of the master cylinder mount on this 86 CR125 chassis. So I've already swapped out the entire swing arm, rear wheel assembly, and brake setup from the 88 CR125. Over the years I've collected quite a few brake pedals and there's there's some duplicates here. Uh, that's a CR125, CR250, CR250, CR500, RM250. Uh, this is the 88 CR125. So these two are the closest to what I think is going to work. The arch that's on the pedal and then the offset from where it mounts to the inside of the frame. This one, I don't know where it came from. I don't recognize it. This is a CR85. Um, and then I've got a bunch of clevises with uh, different distances that uh, should help us figure out where to mount the master cylinder. And this is a brand new pivot bolt. Uh, when I was ordering parts for my Pro Circuit KX125, I ordered this one by mistake. Um, I was thinking, hey, hang on to it. Someday maybe you'll build a 98, 97 KX125. But it's also the perfect diameter for this pedal here. Uh, so I might just use it on this project. I don't know if it fits the 85. It doesn't look like it fits in there. It must be smaller. So chances are we're going to go with this pedal. There is a difference too on the back of the pedal. There's a little bit more mechanical advantage. It's a longer lever arm here. But it's also going to stick further away from the frame. So depending on how it lays out, uh, might determine on which pedal we use. All right, I've got it mocked up here. I ended up going with the shortest clevis and the brake pedal that I don't remember what it is. Um, got the KX125 pivot bolt. And we're kind of at the point of no return, so it's it's time to start cutting and grinding here. I definitely need to position the master cylinder higher, which means I need to cut off this subframe mount. And the way they did this back in 86 was they just shortened the subframe and moved this mounting location up. And then they had a long plate on the back that reached back to the frame. And then the master cylinder sat in front of it. So I'm going to do something similar to that. And then I'll have two little uh, master cylinder tabs coming off the frame to hold it here. I've got an 89 CR250 frame on the bench here. And what I was looking at was how they mounted the brake pedal to the frame. So it was pretty simple. They had a little weld nut on the back side of a, a little bracket. I think I'm going to do something similar to that. past the point of no return here. I cut the subframe, shortened it by three inches, and just tack welded the end back into place for now. Make sure the alignment's good. I might have to trim more off. We'll see. I tried not to take too much off because it's harder to put it back on, right? Uh, it's looking good so far. I kind of like where I think this pivot's going to sit here. Um, it probably sit like right about there and it's it's gonna be level with the foot peg and we'll we'll try and scrunch the master cylinder up to the frame as much as possible so next up I'm gonna start cutting these old tabs off the frame and down below here this is the mount for the old drum brake linkage link bar so we'll cut that off too
So I've got the right side subframe mount removed. And I also removed the linkage mount for the drum brake. It looks a little bit like a beaver chewed on it, but I'll get that cleaned up. So now I'm gonna start laying out where the master should sit and also the pivot for the brake pedal. This is starting to look really good now as far as uh, component placement. If I tuck the pivot for the brake pedal right up close to the foot peg, it leaves uh, quite a bit of travel for the pedal. And it also lines up the master probably pretty darn close to where it needs to be. Um, that little elbow for the master reservoir is preventing it from getting really close to the frame, but in reality, it, it doesn't really need to get right up there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the mount for the brake pedal first, and then that's gonna set the location for the master. And then we can make the bracket that mounts back to the subframe. I was just pawing around in my Vidmar and I found the perfect little mounting boss for the brake pedal pivot. I've gone ahead and made a template, a little cardboard cutout. What I like to use is just uh, stuff out of the recycle bin. So this was just some thin cardboard from an Egg McMuffin package. Uh, works good. It's just like using some template paper. Uh, so I'm going to flatten this out. I found some eighth inch steel in my scrap metal pile. Um, I measured the 89 CR250 frame. It's a hundred thou thick material, but I think, you know, being 30,000 thicker is not going to hurt anything. Maybe a little heavier. Got the rear brake pedal mounting flange finished up. Still some burrs I need to buzz off from there. Um, but I'll get that boss welded on and then weld it to the frame. The brake pedal mounting brackets tack welded into place here. And I've got everything mocked up where I think it should be. I've got the pin from the foot peg just holding the lever up, the brake pedal lever up in position where I want it and now I can take measurements to make a bracket for the master cylinder here to attach it back to the frame and then if you look at it looking down there will be a plate behind here coming up from the back and that's what's gonna hook to the subframe that's the way they did it back in 86 and I'm gonna try and replicate that when I'm all done, I'm gonna make a frame guard and it's gonna tie all four points together. So the subframe mount, the master mounts, and then the brake pivot bolt. And that'll kind of cover up the whole uh, master cylinder and protect it. I guess it's probably more of a, a guard for the brakes than it is for the frame, but it's, it'll, look, it'll be replica and look like what they ran in 86. So I've got my template all cut out, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on here, trace it out, and then I'm gonna use a, a punch, and I'll line it up with the holes that are already in my template, and that should set the correct distance for the mounting bracket. <laughs> Thank you.
got the mounting bracket cut out and set in place here. Put some bolts in. I think I'm going to trim the top off. The little sharpie line there. I don't really like the way that looked, so cut that off and then weld it into place. So I've gone ahead and made my final template. This guy is going to go right back here. So that little dot is going to mark where the subframe mount's going to go. And then if we look on the inside, it's going to mount flush right up against the frame there. And I've removed the anti-rotation tabs that were on the top of the master. You can see it's it's cut off there and then on the back side as well it's been removed. So this allowed me to turn the hose a little bit and rotate it more towards the outside of the bike and then I've run the reservoir line straight up the middle there and it's going to tuck in between the shock reservoir and the frame and then the band clamps are going to go around it top and bottom here so I'm going to get this guy cut out and tack weld it in place <laughs> catch you guys up a little bit I did some stuff off camera so I went ahead and I cut out this subframe mount and I put a little jog in it and I did that one to meet up with the subframe here because it's offset a little bit from where the master cylinder is and then also clearance to the swing arm as the swing arm rotates up you can see it gets, uh, if we can focus, it gets really close there. I also put a little bevel or a little chamfer along that edge. I probably didn't have to use such a thick material. I went with 3 16 for that. I figured there was a little bit more forces. I don't know if you were to wheelie over backwards or seat bounce and stuff or crash really bad. You know, you could probably bend each eighth inch. Um, steel plate but so anyway I went up to 3 16 a little bit thicker a little bit stronger so as I was checking clearances for the swing arm I decided that it would be good to set the engine in there and make sure the brake pedal doesn't hit so we've got lots of room here for the brake pedal which is good and then I wanted to see if the kickstarter would hit so I put the Kickstarter, the 86 Kickstarter on, and as the Kickstarter came down on the 86 Kickstarter, it was hitting the brake pedal. And I decided to swap it out for the 88 Kickstarter, which looks a lot like a 94, 95, 96, 97 Kickstarter. Might be the same part number, I'd have to check. And once I put the Kickstarter on, I said, well, this Kickstarter sits out further, so is it gonna hit the pipe? So then I went and put the pipe on, and it looks like everything's gonna work. So that was a mouthful, but I really just swapped out the Kickstarter for the 1988. So I've also decided to use the 86 swing arm it's not going to be as cut and dry as just using the 88 swing arm. It would be a whole lot easier just to use the other one because it's got the 
bracket that mounts the caliper on here. Um, and it actually fits a little better up by where I just mounted this master cylinder. But it wouldn't look like what they ran in 86. So, you know, trying to stay authentic with the build. I'm going to use this swing arm and make the modifications to be able to mount the caliper bracket to it. Just finished welding on the subframe mount. Come in here, a little close up. Got the weld nut welded in place and welded the back side here. Spin it around. Try not to knock anything off the bench. Come around to the front side. Got the master bracket welded on. Got the brake pivot welded on there. And there was there was some kind of horn on the bottom here. I I cut that off and got it all smoothed out and got rid of the most of the beaver marks on the back here. I think after hitting that with the uh, with the media block. Got a couple small things to finish up here. I gotta finish welding this subframe right here. Get that tab welded back on there all the way around the tube. One last repair on this subframe. As you can see, somebody had a bolt break off for this fender mount. And they drilled off center when they tried to get the broken piece out of it and pretty much ruined it. And they'd been using a through bolt, but I want this bike to be as close to original and as possible. So I am going to take this rusty old bolt and turn it down and make a new end for this subframe. <laughs> are done on the subframe got this fender mount welded on there I also did some helicoils installed some helicoils this uh, seat mount was stripped out I generally try to avoid helicoils but you know this spots gonna be really hard to fix I'm trying to get that welded uh, boss out of there and make a new one would have just been 
too much of a headache. So Helicoil in there. Uh, drop me some comments. Let me know how you guys feel about Helicoils. Rest of the frame is done. I did have to mount a brake reservoir bracket on here. So put that in a location where hopefully it's not going to interfere with everything. I got it all mocked up. All the fabrication work is complete on the frames and I'm going to go drop them off at Powder Coat.